the personal context is that I'm a radio nerd. I love radio. I love the fact since I was a little kid. I mean, since I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, I built a little kit radio and listened to it with a little earphone under the covers of my bed. What I loved about radio and always have loved about radio, you're going to be surprised by something. You're going to be amazed by something. You're going to learn something that you didn't even know you didn't know. I mean, who doesn't want to like put on some headphones, get on a mic, talk a little bit, play some music, share some stories, wish your neighbors happy birthday. This next song that we're going to be playing are uh, uh, Lakota and Oglala victory songs from the Battle of Little Bighorn. I never did anything like this before. I'm 65 years old and I have had such a blast doing my show and being involved in this community. I love doing the show that I do. I host a Latin music show and that's that's meaningful in a place that's mostly all white. And, you know, we, we want to, like, bring out as, as much diversity as we possibly can. A chance for a community to come together. It's all volunteer. I love KXCJ. I love uh, supporting local music. Not just a community, a part of a community, but the whole Illinois Valley. The whole Illinois Valley. Nellie and I both are fulfilling a pledge that I made to my parents uh, many years ago, decades ago. And that was that when they needed help to continue living in comfort and safety in their own home at the end of their lives, then I would be there. Nellie and I are leaving this valley that we love and people here that we love and a project that we love that we've invested our, our lives and our livelihoods in for years now and we are transitioning it to a new leadership team. We learned how to build a radio station and we learned how to build our cabin right over there and now we're gonna learn how to care for our elders so that they can keep living in their own home. With such a big huge project we couldn't do everything well and one of the things that I'll cop to not doing very well is just becoming a full-time unpaid station manager. There's nobody else that's gonna do that crazy job. KXTJLP is a fabulous project to get involved in. You can be as creative as you want to. You know, you can, you can read poetry, you can play music, you can tell stories. We had fundraiser after fundraiser before we were on the air. Oh, yeah. I mean, people in this community took it on faith, face-to-face -face faith, yeah, like, yeah. that we were going to do what we said we were going to do with their thousands of dollars. There's no way we could maintain somewhat of our sanity and actually have this project come to fruition without that encouragement. And we hear to this day, and we heard then so much about Oh my God, I just can't believe the station is still around. It's so great. There are so many projects that get started and completely fall through. And that is, that is no criticism against folks who started any of those projects. That just tells you about the impoverished town that we're in. You could have a pile of loot, and you're not going to have a community-based radio station. You could have no end to volunteers, and if you can't pay the bills, it's going under. And so we need both and people that are far away can be a vital part of what KXCJ LP is. We are really asking the community to help KXCJ be vibrant and sustainable and donate whatever you can. It, it sounds cliche, but literally every penny counts. Community 
community radio, community-based, community-powered radio continues to do in 2020 what it's always done. If you want to live in a democratic society, you need locally controlled means of mass communication. And if you don't have that, then you can kiss the possibility of democracy goodbye.